ko, Lord, papapasukin mo ba ito? And then the Lord told me, yes, papasukin mo yan. So sabi ko, sige, paakyatin mo. Ito po ang hindi ko alam. Na yung sinabi kong paakyatin sila was really a hard, a hard task for them to do. The reason being, yung isang babae had a terrible case of rheumatoid arthritis. Terrible case. Matter of fact, siya po, it started as juvenile arthritis. At yung meaning, she started young. At taga-America na siya. And then the doctor, two specialists actually, told her na it's a case that's incurable. Ito pa ang malungkot. Pagkatapos na sabihin ng doktor na incurable yung kanyang arthritis, pinakitaan siya ng doktor, this is what you will look like five years from now. So may picture. And then 10 years from now, this is what you will look like 20 years from now, ganito na. So pinakita sa kanya, kunti-unti gumagaya hanggang sa ganun na siya. Eh, itong babae na kausap ko was only 21 years old. So when she saw herself na magkakaganyan ako na mamamalutot na siya na mamamalutot, iyak na siya ng iyak. It's a good thing she called her ate who, who lives here in the Philippines at ang sabi niya, ate, nagpatingin ako sa doktor dito, yung daw masasakit sa akin. Sabi niya, rheumatoid arthritis daw ito, incurable daw ito, hanggang sa mamamalutot na lang ako dahil sa sobrang sakit. Ate, ayokong magkaganon. Iyak siya ng iyak. Sabi ng ate niya, huwag kang mag-alala. Sabi niya, pumunta ka rito sa Pilipinas kasi may nabalitaan ako, may mga kristyano na nagpe-pray sa may sakit. Sabi niya ang katabi mo, good news ka. Good news ka. Wow. So, eh, eto nangyari yun. Ang sabi ng ate, halika rito, lumipad ka rito, tapos dadalhin kita doon sa nagpe-pray. It's a good thing that ate brought her to our church dahil napanood yata ako sa 700 Club. So, the ate brought her there. Yung sinabi ko na paakyatin mo rito, what I did not know was that it's going to be very hard for her. So, umakit siya doon sa handan, literally, she was crawling. I did not know. I did not know. Gumagapang siya sa handanan until finally, nung nandoon na, they were so apologetic, sabi na, Pastor Hiram, pasensya na po kayo. Nagpakasakali lang po kami. Nag nagkakapalmukha po kami para sa ganun. Maipag-pray nila yung kapatid ko. Sabi ko, alam niyo, guilty, guilty ako. Ang panginoon. Tapos ito pa ako, may appointment pa sila. Ay, mo lang ito gano'n na. Hiyang-hiya ako sa sarili ko. Alam niyo yun? Because here is a God appointment that I just know it is from God. Nasabi ko, sorry po, sorry. Kung alam kong ganyan ang kondisyon ninyo, hindi ko kayo pinakiyat. Sabi ko, sana ako na ang bumaba. Pero nandito na kayo. Have a seat. So naupo sila. Meron ko ako sofa doon sa aking sa aking office. Nakaupo sila ron. So sabi ko, anong kwento? So they told me the story na yun nga, sinabihan na siya ng doktor that she had juvenile arthritis and now it's rheumatoid arthritis, incurable disease na eventually mag, 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 ano yun, mag-curl up na lang siya because of that arthritis. Sabi ko, sabi yun ng doktor pero hindi yan ang sabi ni Lord. Yes. See, you need to understand this. Totoo po ang sinasabi ng mga doktor as far as science is concerned. The science of medicine is true. Pero ito yun eh. Although it may be a fact that doctors will tell you, oh, meron kang incurable disease, oh, meron kang cancer, meron kang diabetes, meron kang arthritis, or whatever the sickness is, totoo yung sinasabi nila, pero mas totoo ang sinabi ni Lord. Amen. Alright? This is where you see the difference between fact and truth. It may be a fact you have cancer. It may be a fact you have diabetes. It may be a fact you have migraine. It may be a fact you have backache. It may be a fact you have scoliosis. Whatever science calls it, whatever the disease may be, that's a fact. Hindi ko yan ikaw contest. Hindi ko sasabihin na sinungaling ang mga doktor. But this is what is true. May fact, may truth. And truth says this, that by His wounds, you have been healed. So as Christians, we come from that point of view na kapatid, totoo yung sakit mo. Totoo yan. Pero mas totoo na si Jesus, Amen. pinagaling ka na. Yes. Amen? Hallelujah! Wow! So good! I just want share this. Kasama po kami minsan ni Heidi Baker. At uh, uh, nandun siya, nagkakwentuhan lang. Kumbaga, we try to maximize the time that we had with her. At napanggit niya sa amin minsan, na, nakasakay kami sa van. Sabi niya, you know what, Pastor Hiram, sabi niya, I don't want to go to doctors. Sabi ko sa kanya, how come? Because doctors may find something wrong with me. 
And then when they find something wrong with me, sabi niya, I may believe them. <laughs> and once I believe them, sabi niya, and entertain that I'm really sick, I may not, I may not be, I may not be as strong as I should be. So, sabi niya, I try not to go to them. Ngayon, kung may doktor po rito, hindi ko kayo ibinababa. Okay? Sa, sa, sa church namin, marami kaming medical practitioners. We have lots of physicians, we have lots of nurses, lalo na nurses. Ang daming nurses sa church namin, marami kami mga dentists, may mga physical therapists kami. Pero ito po kasi eh, the moment medical practitioners tell us what they think, we will believe them. Bakit? They are the authorities. Ang mahirap nito, pagka sinalunan natin yung facts as the ultimate truth, hindi mo na pangahawakan ang healing na kaya ibigay ni Jesus. Alright? So, going back, itong babae ngayon, nakakupo siya doon sa sofa, sabi ko, so ano ngayon ang nararamdaman mo? Sabi niya, masakit na masakit po yung sapa ako, yung ankle ko, yung tuhod ko, masakit po yung siko ko, yung kamay ko, all the joints are in pain. Sabi niya, sige, sabi ko, pray tayo. In Jesus' name, I rebuke arthritis. So I was talking to arthritis. Arthritis, I rebuke you and I command healing now. All forms of pain be gone. Sabi ko, check it out. Subukan mo. Ano pong gagawin ko? Di yung masakit kanina, subukan mong igalaw. Ano ba yung masakit? Ito pong kamay ko, masakit mo ito. O sige, close open mo. Kinos open niya. Tapos, iyak siya. Sabi ko, aray ko, parang, ano to? Ba't ang iyak to? Nasaktan. Tapos, ang gino, nagyakapan silang mag-ati. Ano, ano na nangyari dito? Sabi niya, sadali, sadali. Huwag muna kayong mag-iyakan. Ano muna ang nangyayari? Wala na pong sakit. Wow. So, wala na. At mo, ilan sa siko, ilan sa siko. Gino niya niya, Okay, so good, good. Ngayon, tingnan natin yung sa tuhod, yung sa ankle, yung sa paa. How is it? Hindi ko po alam. Sabi ko, hindi tumayo ka. Ilangan mo, alamin natin. See, it's very important that when you ask God for healing, you try it out. Okay, that's very crucial. So sabi ko, itayo mo, ilakad mo. So tumayo siya. Lakad siya, sabi ko, ilakad na naman. Ayan na naman. So, nagyakapan na naman. Ano nangyayari? Ano nangyayari? Hindi na po masakit. So, sabi ko sa kanila, alright, you go back to the US, sabi ko, you go back to the US, and you have your 